Hey, it's Terry. I've lost 180 pounds with keto, carnivore, and counting calories. Now I'm doing low carb while I'm in maintenance. Thank you for watching. Hey, good morning. Let's get ready together. Um, I want to talk to you guys. And whenever I do these videos, I do a couple extra things. I, I don't usually do eyeshadow and I don't usually contour on a day-to-day -day basis. But whenever I'm talking to you guys and, and I want to I wanna talk a long time, I need extra time, that's when I use them. But um, I know sometimes you all are like, you don't need the, uh, all that makeup. I know. I know. I look good without it all. I just do it so I can keep talking to you guys. So <clears throat> what I got you... What I gathered you all here to, for today was to talk about Thanksgiving and um, and what plans can be. So, by the way, I use that for my lotion or my, my face, my, fa my facial cream. That's what I use for my facial cream. Just some random, some random eczema gold bond relief. I mean, if it's good enough for eczema, it's good enough for my face. Anyway... <coughs> So a little backstory. I have surgery the Thursday after Thanksgiving. So I and so um, this on, on Thanksgiving um, I'm off Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and then Saturday, Sunday. So I'm off four days. And while my sister invited me to go to her house for Thanksgiving, she lives she lives where I always have my work uh, meetings in Jefferson City. And um, so uh, so. Instead of going there, I've got so much to get ready for um, for the surgery, um, and so many. I actually had made plans. I want to finish my bathroom um, on Thanksgiving week, so um, because after my eye surgery, I you know I'm going to be off for seven working days, so probably about ten days total. But I'm not going to be able to just lay down and and you know I, I'm not going to be able to put pressure my eye through straining, so I can't. Otherwise, I'd be like, well, shoot, I'll do that on my days off. But I can't do that because, you know, my eye will be healing and stuff. So I don't want to do anything that would cause strain and pressure on my eye. So anyway, so says I'm not going to my sister's. I have a friend in town and she they have Thanksgiving every year at her house. And I will record it so you can see. But it is the full spread of Thanksgiving. And we're talking traditional turkeys, uh, but um, or I should say traditionally at their house, they have about two or three turkeys. There's a huge family. There were five kids. My friend, uh, she had five, four other siblings. And, um, and then each of those kids are married. And now they all have kids, like multiple kids. We're talking like four, five, ten kids. Not really. Sorry if you're watching, friend. You know who you are. Um, anyway, uh, but they have a huge, huge group of people. So they make so, so much food. Like I said, I'll show you the spread when I go. Um, but like I said, we're talking two turkeys, one or two hams, um, all of the, the, the gravy, the mashed potatoes, the sweet potatoes, the green moon casserole, you know, all of the traditional Southeast Missouri. Cause you know, some places I, I know some places they have other things. Like I hear some places have lasagna. Some people eat fish. There's just all kinds of traditions, but this is kind of the Southeast Missouri Midwest's traditional Thanksgiving food. So anyway, <clears throat> um, so what am I going to do to combat that? That's what I want to talk to you all about. So I'm going to go to her house. Um, I heard they're going to eat at 11 on Thanksgiving. And so, or 1130. So I'll kind of, I'll be working on cleaning around here um, that morning. And then what, this is my personal plan. If you're already got your plans and if you already are going to do your own thing, then by all means, you do that thing. Um, but I personally thought, well, let me share this with you. I can't say mine's right, but I can say that um, it's just, it's what I'm going to do to work to stay true to my eating and not go through what I went through this past week whenever I was, you know, eat off plan. So, by the way, I have polycystic ovarian syndrome, so I get the dark facial hair, so... Uh, 
and just the wild facial hair. So I shave, not every day. Sometimes I wax, but anyway. So in order for me to get ready today, I need to do this. So you're just going to see it. I will say an esthetician told me once that if you shave, you want a, a um, sensitive skin razor. It just has a single blade. And she said that keeps it from having to, keeps your hair from getting stuck under the, the, uh, down in the, um, uh, down in, down in the hole, down where the hair comes out. <laughs> Listen, you just, just know, that's what she said. Use this, so just use this. I can't, I can't explain the science. I'll think of it after I upload this video. I'll be like, oh, yeah, it was that word. Anyway, so, <clears throat> so what am I going to do? Well, I've been thinking about it, and um, I don't have any hamburgers made up, hamburger patties. <laughs> this next time that I go shopping, I am going to pick up some burger patties, but I don't have any made up now. So what I think I'm going to do is my, I'm going to... The day before, like two, Wednesday evening, Tuesday evening, pull two or three sausage patties out of my freezer. Now, my, I use the turkey sausage. Are they clean? No. But is it going to keep me from eating uh, uh, stuffing and mashed potatoes and all the things that are going to be on her table? By eating up ahead of time, yes, it will. So that is my game plan is before I go, I'm going to eat about two or three, maybe even four of those sausage patties. <clears throat> if I'm not going out to eat to a place that I can control what's going on, I need to have, I need to not be hungry. And um, for me to not be hungry, I need to have meat. So that's my plan is so that, you know, I may do it on the drive. I may do it. Um, well, I'll probably get there just a little bit early to help her set up. But um, I've been there, you know, a few times. But um, anyway, I'll probably go there a little bit early to help her set up. So um, so I probably will just eat them on the drive. And um, but what that's going to do is help me stay in control. And then um, the foods that I plan to eat are going to be the uh, the turkey because it's turkey. And I know usually at her family, somebody has brought um, like raw vegetables, like a veggie tray. Now, they may not this year. I have no idea. But I know in the past they have. So if they have that, I will eat that. And... Um, if they have it, sometimes somebody will bring a salad. So um, I've off, I've eaten a salad. I'll definitely have the turkey. Um, you know, they do. It's not, but they some they usually bake one or two, or deep fry two. I can't remember. Anyway, they usually do a lot. But um, <clears throat> so I will load my plate up with turkey, and if there's salad, I'll load it up with salad and veggies. So I asked her. I said, hey. Can I bring anything? She said, no. I said, well, I know that your family and you work very hard and you make a lot of desserts. And when I say a lot of desserts, I'm talking about there is usually... Now, tap the fast forward button if hearing this is going to trigger you. There has been pumpkin pie, pecan pie, uh, cake, apple pie, peach pie. I mean, they make all the pies. Um, and so... I said, well, are, can I bring some fruit, like a fruit tray, so that way I'm not tempted by your stuff? She said, I love her, but she's very controlling and, and wants only specific things brought to her, her her Thanksgiving. So that's why I don't get to bring nothing. She's probably afraid I'll bring something like a rutabaga pie. <laughs> well, I would. Anyway, I would, and it would taste good too, Lori. Um, anyway, so, um, so she did say, yes, I could bring a fruit plate or fr a fruit tray. So what I'll do is, um, I will maybe like Tuesday, I'll go into Walmart or Aldi and get a fruit tray because 
that's something that I know I can eat. And as you all have seen, I take an apple everywhere. But if I'm going to take fruit for me, I want to take fruit for other people. That's like the polite thing to do. I mean, heck, they're letting me eat up all their, their turkey. And they're letting me eat up all their, their salad. And um, <clears throat> now, I'm sure there will be ham, but I will not be partaking in the ham. I just want to throw that out there because... I love, you know, you love a good ham, but we all know what's in ham. And for me, I know some of you all are perfectly able, I mean, we've talked about in the comments, some of you all are perfectly able to make that decision of eating off plan for one day and not be triggered for the rest of the week. Well, I think that's pretty dead damn cool, but that's not me. Um, so for me, I have to eat, you know, I mean, we've seen this past week how, how eating off plan affects me. So, I have to focus on eating one plan and, um, and doing whatever I need to do. So, for me, let's see, what am I wearing today? Oh, yeah, okay. I, I have to pick out a color, and I just want to make sure it's not like a, a color. Mm, let's go with, I'm wearing orange, so I don't want to wear red. Uh, or, or, okay, so I'll wear, I'll go with the brown tones. Anyway, um, so some people can just, you know, eat what they eat and it'll be just fine, but that's not me. So I, I don't want to go through detox. I mean, I will, I will have to go through some detox, but, um, but anyway, so that is my plan. I'll go over there and I'll be with her and her family for a little while. And then, um, and I'll eat some of the, some of the good foods that they have set out. And then after that, I will um, go home and I will be getting to work on things at my house. Um, my plan, I want to, like I said, I need to finish the bathroom. I definitely need to clean my house. I don't want to come home to, after surgery, when I'm here for seven days, I don't want to come home to a house that's not very clean. And so I plan on cleaning up the house a little bit. And um, so, uh, so yeah, that's kind of my plan. But that's my Thanksgiving plan as far as eating and staying on plan. I plan on, um, how many times can you say plan, Terry? Uh, that, that, but that's what I plan on doing. Partaking, spending time with them, <clears throat> eating, eating some meat before I go. So that way I don't have to feel like I'm hungry. I don't ever, 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 ever go anywhere where you're, when you are hungry. Eat something before you go because you are setting yourself up for a miserable time if you are um, if you are hungry when you go somewhere. Um, so that's why that's why I plan on eating. That's why I plan on eating a little something, those three or four sausage patties before I go um, because I need that. Um, so. That's the game plan. That's my Thanksgiving plan. I'm going to eat some 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 um, those sausage pad turkey sausage before I go, and then when I get there, I'll eat the turkey. And if they have a salad, then I'll eat that. If not, it'll be a carnivore day, just a turkey day, which is just fine. I'll be perfectly happy with turkey. <clears throat> so um, so it'll be a carnivore day except for fruit. And then, I'm, like I said, I'm taking my fruit. So, uh, don't be afraid to take your own thing or to eat before you go somewhere. It's all right. Because you know what? You're the one that has to live with the consequences, not the people there. So, if somebody, if you know you're going somewhere and there's going to be a lot of food and, you know, you're, you, you want to you wanna have your own dessert of some kind of fruit, take it. You can even do like I do and take an apple in your purse. Nobody cares. Nobody's paying you no attention. You know... <clears throat> It's funny, I'm starting, I'm still working on this process, but I'm starting to learn that as much as I focus on my own plate and my own journey and my own stuff, that's how much other people are focused on their own plate and their own journey and their own stuff. They ain't looking at my plate. They may look at it and be like, well, I pity you, you didn't get all this. And I'll be like, mm, I pity them because I got all this, I got this. So, you know, don't, don't think about what other people are going to think about what you're eating or what you're doing because like i said the amount of energy you're putting into your own way of eating and your own plate 
is the amount of energy they're putting on their own plate because they're excited about what they're getting to eat. So don't be judgy and looking at their plate and out loud <laughs> and saying, mm, they don't need that fourth piece of pie. It ain't your business. Because by the same token, it ain't their business that you're putting apples on your plate or you're not eating the fun stuff. So, like I said, you can think of it, but don't be saying nothing out loud. And don't be lecturing people. Don't be lecturing people on Thanksgiving. Don't be like, oh, no, I can't have that because I'm keto. Or I can't have that because I'm carnivore. People don't want to hear that. People don't want to hear just, you know, all that, you know, they're happy in their place right now. Just like Thanksgiving, you don't talk about politics, you don't talk about religion, and you don't talk about how, how, uh, don't be all pious and, oh, I can't eat that, that green bean casserole. No, it's not good for me. Nobody wants to hear that. Just say, oh, nah, I want some turkey. I came for the turkey. Because <clears throat> if they know you, they know that you, you know, that's how you eat. And it's all right. But just don't be all uppity about it. I can't stand an uppity, healthy person. Just like, you know, when people who eat a certain way and they're like, oh, no. Like, there are awesome, awesome, amazing vegetarians and vegans out there. I love them all. But there are some that are like, oh, no, I don't eat dead animals. Oh, no, I don't like when people kill animals. I can't do it. But by the same token, there are people on the carnivore side, oh, no, I don't eat vegetables. Oh no, there are too many lecithins and 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 stuff blah, 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 in it, and I can't have that. Don't be that person. Nobody wants to hear that on Thanksgiving. Just go smiling like, hey, I'm here for the turkey, baby. And uh, you eat that turkey, and you fill it on your plate, and you smile, and don't be lecturing, don't be judging out loud. And um, yeah, so that's my two cents about what my plan is, and what I think. You know, I'm going to do, you know, I'll tell you exactly what I do, but I just wanted you to know because, you know, some of you may still be in the up in the air about what your plans are for Thanksgiving. You might be thinking, well, I don't want to stay home. I want to go to Cousin Joe's house or Aunt Susie's house. I want to go to their house, but I'm afraid of what they'll have. Well, if they have something like turkey, you just eat you some burger, some meat, whatever meat you like before you go and then go. And then, or if they're going to have something like, I don't know, whatever, they're going to have something like just ham, well, you eat you extra meat and then go. And then you take you an apple or you take you a veggie tray and say, I know you told me not to bring anything and I appreciate it, but I brought a veggie tray, you know, or just don't ask at all. Don't ask them if they want you to bring anything. And then just say, oh, I just wanted to bring this because you're such a good host. And then drop off the veggie tray. And just put that veggie tray in front of your face. So there's all kinds of ways around things. You know what I mean? Just just be, it's, it's <clears throat> all of us, including me. You know, here in America, and maybe it's elsewhere too. You know, we all grew up, everybody in the olden days would eat and then sit around the table and visit for hours. That was just the place where the grown folks sat and ate. And, or, and sat after they ate. They would clean up the dishes. <clears throat> then they'd migrate back to the table. Because most of the time, this, the um, you know living room only had a couple chairs and a couch. So they couldn't accommodate all the kids and the adults. So the grown folks would sit around the table. And then after us kids were gone, and they would just sit and talk and have their adult and boring adult conversations that adults would have. And, um, <clears throat> and so... You can come around. They ain't going to bite you. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, but uh, yeah, we're all used to gathering around a table and, and having that family time and then talking. Um, so it's, it's, it's the way it is around here. So, you know, if that's how it is for your family also, don't, don't not go to something because you don't want to be around the food. Eat before you go. Even if you take some burgers, like if she told me, Terry... We're just going to have ham this year. Then I would I would say, okay, cool. And I'd bring along some burgers. And I'd eat them right in front of them people. What does it matter? They don't care. They saw me at 340 pounds. And they see me now at 160 pounds. 
So they see that I've struggled and, and you know, if they care anything about me, then they're going to be like, oh, this is just Terry eating her burgers. You know what I mean? So just, just, they're more worried about, they're too excited about getting all the things that people eat on Thanksgiving. So that's what I've got to say about it. And I know I'm going a little bit jibber jabbery, but that's what I got to say about it. Eat something before you go. Take something if you think that they're not going to have something you can eat. Take something with you. Um, but if you already have plans to eat all the things, then I think that's okay too. I can't, but that's okay. I don't I don't fault anybody for being able to do that. I think that's pretty cool. And I hope to one day be in that stage too. I'd love to be able to eat some things and not feel the afterwards. But, um, and, you know, I'm sure I'll probably have a couple bites of something. And then I probably will still bleh, afterwards on Black Friday. But, um, but anyway, so that's kind of the game plan for my Thanksgiving. And uh, this, this weekend, oh, I forgot I was just jibber-jabbering away. Um, that's my game plan for this weekend, uh, or for Thanksgiving week. And then, um, and then Black Friday, I don't shop. Um, but I will, um, uh, I will be, uh, doing a whole bunch of stuff here at the house for the three days after Thanksgiving. So, and you know me, I will bring you along and tell y'all what I'm doing because I've got to get my bathroom done for this weekend, by this weekend. That's what, that's my goal is to get it done. So then when my sister comes back to town, she can be like, all right, yeah, you done it good. You done a good job. So that's my thing is I want to I want to do her proud whenever she comes back to the comes back to town. Hopefully she doesn't come back the week of Thanksgiving. I'm just kidding. She's not. She's having Thanksgiving at her house. So. All right. Well, that's everything. And you have a happy Thanksgiving. And that's my plans.